<laughs> it should be here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can put it around your leg or so. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to the Dubai Expat YouTube channel. So guys, today we are on another shopping trip at the Dubai Mall. But instead of buying a super expensive luxury watch, we have to get a watch that costs below $200. My friend Ellie has to get this watch for one of her colleagues as a wedding present. And as Ellie is not so familiar with the watch world, she asked me to support her on the shopping trip. Her friends and other colleagues from the office actually advised her a few fashion watches and it seems like these kind of watches are pretty attractive for a lot of women. But hopefully I will be able to save Ellie from making a huge mistake. So without further ado guys, let's start. I am wearing my Mido today on the rubber strap. And I actually think it looks gorgeous. Um, okay. <laughs> the first watch that came to my mind for such a tight budget is the Casio G-Shock 2100 or the so-called G-Oak. Unfortunately, Ellie and her friends all said this would be too quirky and not dressy enough. So the G-Shock has no chance at all, unfortunately. Moving on, of course I found the Seiko 5 very interesting. Mechanical movement, a really good quality, a good brand which will be recognized by watch lovers and you can get it on a bracelet for exactly our budget. And the Seiko 5 on a NATO strap which Ellie actually prefers. And more Seiko watches, the sales assistant shows us. So my pick would be the classic Seiko 5 on bracelet, as it costs the same as the one on NATO, but you get a very nice strap in addition for a small buck, so I think the overall better deal would be to buy it on the bracelet right away. Moving on to the next store, our choice, usually also a good selection of watches for a smaller budget. Ellie, our choice, <laughs> finally. Many friends advised me to check out Tissot, but unfortunately this Quartz Tissot is the only one we could get for $200. At least it looks nice and feels good, but is of course a very dressy piece. And luckily I found this super nice Timex Q at the store. They also have usually great promotions, so the Timex Q would fit well into the budget and leave some room for a nice cake on top. They actually have all kinds of color combinations, but I think the Pepsi design is the best one for the Timex Q. Ellie is unfortunately still not convinced, so we had to check out a few more fashion brands. A Calvin Klein watch, of course it's a quartz one. And the MVMT watches. I know there is a lot of hate out there for these watches, 
But for a price of $100 they actually come with a nice design, have a good strap to it, so I think for such a tight budget they are a better deal than most other fashion brands and all the hate on them is in my view really not so much justified. My pick here would probably be the grey one on green strap, but of course overall I think the best budget watch you can get here is the Timex Q of course. Some very nice Hamilton watches, but of course those exceed our budget. Another Lacoste fashion watch, which is one of the favorite of Ellie's colleagues. And time to pick up the final watch. So what is your guess guys? Which watch are we going to buy now? Maybe a Grand Seiko? Of course not. <laughs> but you always ask to see our Grand Seiko store and this pop-up store is everything we have here for now. So we are getting the Seiko 5, luckily I could convince Ellie to get it on a bracelet and with that I think we got the best watch you can buy for $200 at the Dubai Mall. A last look on this monster diesel watch. The watch is getting wrapped as a nice gift now. And time to leave for a nice dinner. So what do you think guys? Have we made the right decision? Which watch would be your pick for $200? Leave me a comment and hopefully see you all again in the next video. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and bye bye. Forty four Al Kale Road. In three hundred meters, use the right two lanes to keep right. <laughs>